Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing properly, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Birmingham. He's 24 years old, stands five feet seven inches tall, and weighed in at 65 kilos. He fights out of UTC, and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Darren Higgins. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from rugby. He's 17 years old, stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, and weighed in at 64 kilos. He fights out of Gannon's Black Belt Academy, and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Gianni Abriginshaw. So here we go with featherweight action. Darren Higgins and the All Black Trunks against Gianni Brigginshaw in the black and white. And already, both fighters looking like a, a really kind of, we're going to have a nervous feeling out process here. And as I say that, Brigginshaw goes for the takedown, and we've got a scramble developing. Nice double leg. Higgins is going for the overhook and the head control. We've got ourselves a classic grappler versus striker competition tonight. Higgins' background is boxing. Brigginshaw is a grappler. I mean, Brigginshaw clearly looking the more comfortable at this point as he's posturing up, looking to pull those arms through. He's got to be careful because Higgins has uh, got a butterfly by the looks of things and he's got an underhook, if not two. He could stack up and stand and do what he does best and strike. I think that's what he's going to do. Ooh, he jumps and pulls guard and there's a slam. As you alluded to at the start, for me, that's the sign of a confident grappler. Somebody will jump and pull guard because he feels comfortable on his back and he'll be looking to work submissions. But it's very tough to work and when you're pushed into the side of the cage like Higgins is doing there. It is, yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe he's a little bit over, overzealous with the jumping guard. I might be proven wrong. But right now his back is up against the cage wall. It's not the best place to be in guard. I, mean, I think you make a very good point. It was a straight jump to guard as he looks to lock in the... The rubber guard at the top there. Yeah, this is this is this is impressive stuff. First one we've seen tonight, I think. Very much so. The very and we see the legs very high, very good flexibility through through the hips and through the hamstrings off the back, which is a lot of the key to having a really effective and versatile guard. People think of flexibility in the legs as just as the ability to to be able to do the splits, but the flexibility through the hips and through the groin equally as important. A lot of the, you're absolutely right, Ben. A lot of the best guard moves require a lot of hip flexibility. So, Brickenshaw doesn't get a chance to do what he wants. Fantastic decision there to stand both competitors back up. Good decision from a referee, Mark Woodard. As it's Higgins coming forward. Brickenshaw circling. Bit of a scramble for position. And a knee that comes through there. Higgins, for me, looking the stronger of the two fighters, and he's really imposing his will in that clinch position almost. Yeah, he's got it for me on aggression at the moment. Pinning Brigginshaw against the cage wall. Initiating the underhooks. Brigginshaw going for the overhooks, which is not very often. And now we see completing the takedown. Looks like Brigginshaw complaining maybe about a few shots. I think he got a low blow there. Yeah, I did see him looking over to, to Mark Woodard to, to let him know. Mark Woodard just going to have a word with Darren Higgins about that. Just to say to watch out for those shots. So we're back into round two. Darren Higgins in the black shorts. Johnny Brigginshaw in black, white and red shorts. Oh, Higgins backing his man up into the cage wall. Higgins certainly the aggressor, you're right there, Lord, as he comes forward. And that's a nice leg, a very nice low kick. Left his opponent scurrying for that takedown. Nice and quick to react there, Higgins. Faking a couple of spinning back kicks. 
Very nice. I like the way he did that. Often we see strikers at a very high level that feints are the key. Because it's those feints that help you kind of see your opponent's movement. And there's a nice job. Tags his man. And this is That's going to be it. all she wrote as she covers That's up. That's it. Higgins finishes the fight with a flurry. Fantastic hands as we talked about. What a finish. That was ballistic stuff there from Darren Higgins. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after 44 seconds of round two, your winner, due to referee stoppage from ground and pound in the blue corner, Darren Higgins. Well, let's hear it for a very gallant runner-up. Let's hear it for Gianni Aparigginshaw.